Welcome back to this Let's Play of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. We've spent actually a couple episodes now doing nothing but restored content. This is the uh, droid production facility that uh, was cut from the final game. Uh, I don't know, maybe this wasn't originally what they designed. Some of this is a uh, is just from the restoration page. So all the dialogue here, though, is, uh, is from the original game. Uh, it's just that it was never used. And uh, last time we got around the problem. Previously, we sort of had the issue that uh, the uh, HK50s are similar enough to HK47 that everybody's programming, 47 and 50 alike, uh, recognized the other droids as quote unquote self, and so the self preservation programming prevented us from shooting at each other. Well, HK47 kind of changed his uh, program a little, a little bit and uh, no longer recognizes himself as an. HK-47 unit, therefore, it's open fire front on all parts. We also turned off the reactor to the base, which will get us through some magnetically sealed doors. Like, presumably the lights are all on backup power or something. Either that or the uh, reactor only really affects the... Uh, the uh, doors. Huh. I thought we'd shut the reactor down. Well, we'll have to run back to the, the uh, reactor to see if we can turn it back on. Gives us an opportunity to regenerate a little bit. I I have all I have 43 construction kits, so you know what? I'm just gonna use one. There's an interesting item, Bindo's Band. It's a, uh, it's a piece of headgear that gives charisma bonus, but it's a, uh, oh, I guess I didn't actually give it the command to open the security doors. Presumably shutting down the power should have done so automatically, but, hmm, I guess not. I'm playing this area more or less blind. Um, I've, this is the first time I've played through the game with the restoration patch on. So. And it's, you know, unfortunate there's not more restored content, but really, this is the major thing that was restored in this, uh, combat mode. in this, uh, mod. They also added a couple of other things, but nothing is... I mean, this is probably a good you know, addition. I'm assuming about an additional 45 minutes of gameplay or so. Uh, missing, so... There's a door, and I'm down to the manufacturing plant. I'm actually going to try out this droid multispectral emitter on... Uh... Oh wow, they didn't... they don't automatically make their saves. Imagine that. So here's the question. If these are HK-50, what happened to HK-48 and HK-49? I wonder if that ever is ever explained. Great frag grenade. I guess I used up my shield, so I'm going to switch down to... I have these droid defense barriers, which are really the, the, the weakest ones. Uh, the unity grids here are probably the best ones. I'll use the deflectors Mark III, which are kind of the second best I have. I don't know why I'm really worrying about saving them. Uh, this is probably the last time I'm ever actually going to do a major area with a droid party member. So. And I don't think it's that long, but it could be quite long. Hmm. Apparently these droid... Oh, huh. 
He's droid multispectral, and there's only a two shots each. I guess I'm gonna save him for something better. Because these guys aren't that hard. And honestly, they're not that much better than just my basic attacks. Oh good, poison attacks against the droid. Well, that's gonna be effective. As they mentioned, they had optimized the uh, defense of this base against uh, the Jedi. Uh, presumably, then, they were uh, concerned about you know, meat bags in general, rather than Jedi in specific, because as we've shown a couple times in this game, using poison attacks against Jedi is not often very effective. All right, well, let's see what system commands we can get here. Well, there's just upload area. Well, we'll upload the area schematics. There's some security cameras here, too, but let's just look at the area. And, uh, we're up here. HK-51 manufacturing control? What's that? Hmm. Well, let's, ex let's explore that. There's some training rooms here, including a torture training room. Hey, you know, gotta know the basics, right? Lecturing statement. And with your translators online, let us perform a routine diagnostic of your translation and protocol centers. Statement. Subject test. Ithorian. A weak, disgustingly pacifistic species that values vegetation and other non-sentient organics. Okay. Well, let's just observe them for a little while. Seemingly unable or unwilling to perform even the most elementary cruelties, they will provide an excellent first test subject. Observe, then translate. Test translation. Master, this one says his herd intends to overrun your economy and demands your surrender or he will wipe your planet out. Statement. Well done. Let us try another. Lecturing statement. This next one is a Twi'lek. Indigenous to the arid planet of Ryloth, generally weak, despite their sharp, predatory teeth. Test translation. Mistress, I believe this Twi'lek is interested in buying you. He asks you to follow him to his slave ship. Statement. Well done. Now, the next one is a Quarren. A slimy, untrustworthy species that shares the same vile planet as the dull and goggle-eyed Mon Calamari. Test translation. Master, this military envoy says he admits to spying on our military facilities, and he says that you will never take him alive. Statement. Well done. Let us... Excuse me. Are you here for your translator check? Yeah, okay. No, we're not. Um, if you can't read the text, more or less they're changing everything that the uh, the original subtitles say, which is mostly sort of non-threatening, into hostile statements. And uh, they really could have just included a reference to hovercrafts being full of eels here, because that's really the joke. Anyway, a bunch of AKH HK-50s. Let's just kill them. Ratio
This, uh, droid carbonite emitter is, well, it's not great. But uh, I think that's about all the time we have, so next time we'll have to find out what kind of joyful things we will find in the torture training room and the interrogation training room. I anticipate humor. <laughs>